When you act with discipline, you're saying to yourself, I value you, I see you, I'm respecting your goals and your desires, and I'm acting according to those things. Even if I don't feel like it, I am always keeping in mind that greater vision, those things that I say I want to prioritize or say that I want to be, and I'm putting in the work, the actions, the consistency to get to that version of myself. Hi guys, how are we all doing today? I brought back the external mic for this video. I like how it feels like I'm on a podcast. <laughs> podcast Podcasting is in my future, okay? It's not happening anytime soon because one, I wanna wait till I have a bigger audience, and two, I have barely enough time to make these videos. There's no way that I could survive having a podcast at this moment with a nine to five. I'm gonna have to wait till I'm like self-employed manifesting. So I really wanted to create this video talking about discipline and how I think that discipline is actually self-love, self-care. Discipline has kind of gotten this kind of yucky connotation to it. And at least for me, when I think of discipline, I'm immediately imagining like grind set, bros in the gym, that very aggressive kind of culture that we all associate with discipline. And I really wanna create this video because recently in my life, I I feel like I've fallen kind of in love with discipline again and really have been striving to have more of it in my life. And I really wanna give some advice for how you can also reframe your mentality around discipline and potentially create a healthier relationship with it that allows you to implement it in your life without having all of these very self-punishing feelings about it. Because I think that's where a lot of our resentment towards discipline comes from is that we associate discipline with punishment or torturing ourselves in some way, putting ourselves through something that we don't want to do and I don't think that it has to be that way. When we think about the people that we look up to in any aspect of life, whether that's people we look up to in terms of fitness or business or finance or their lifestyle, the things that they've accomplished, some level of discipline and consistency went into them accomplishing those things. I know for me, so many of the things that I'm proudest of in my life are things that I've been able to build consistency with. Things like starting this YouTube channel and showing up week after week, even on days where I didn't feel like it. So many aspects of our lives are built off of what we do day to day, our day to day habits, routines, things that we consistently put work and effort into. I think with any worthwhile goal that you want to pursue, there's a certain level of discipline and dedication and consistency that you need to put towards that goal, at least at the beginning, in order to get the ball rolling and to actually stand a chance at achieving it. You take away discipline and suddenly you're functioning completely off of what you feel like doing. And I genuinely think that a lot of times the things that we feel like doing or our impulses in the moment do not have our best interests at mind in the same way that our higher self, our disciplined self, really can have our best interests in mind. The greasy food sounds really good, but maybe we hate the way that we feel afterwards, or we don't feel like going for the workout, but we know that we'd be so much happier if we did. Maybe you don't feel like making a YouTube video, but you would benefit so much from putting that effort into one of your goals. Even for the things that I love the most in life, even for my passions and the things that I care about so deeply, I still have to utilize discipline often. Motivation and passion and and just the will to do things is very fleeting and unreliable. Like if I relied on motivation solely for maintaining this YouTube channel, I wouldn't stand a shot because even with the things that you genuinely enjoy and love, you're not always gonna feel like doing them, especially things that do require a little bit of work, a little bit of effort, things that aren't the easy way out. Something that I've really found value in is reframing discipline, not as a punishment or a way to deprive yourself or force yourself to do things that you don't want, but instead as an opportunity to show yourself love and respect from that higher self place. Discipline is a way to show yourself love by prioritizing what's best for you and what's going to bring you long-term happiness and success over the maybe fleeting, shallow impulses that you have in the moment or your desire to take the easy way out and not do anything. In a lot of ways, we can be very impulsive, instant gratification focused creatures. When you have a desire to do something that's not good for you, stepping in and being like, I love myself enough to know that I should do blank or I shouldn't do blank. I heard this thing somewhere and I don't know how credible this is, so take it with a grain of salt, but I heard somewhere that The Rock, when he has like a craving for something that he knows is gonna make him feel like shit, sometimes what he'll do is he'll tell himself, hey self, like I know you really want this deep fried pizza right now, but I love you enough to say that that's not gonna make you feel good and that you deserve to put something better in your body. I honestly find this to be a lot more truthful than viewing it as, oh, I'm punishing myself, I'm depriving myself of the 
foods I want. In actuality, you're bringing attention to the fact that this is a way that you're showing yourself love and care and taking care of yourself and prioritizing your goals, your desire for health over a fleeting craving that's ultimately going to make you feel like shit later. This is about respecting yourself enough to make choices that are going to make you a healthier person mentally, physically, and emotionally financially, in any aspect of your life. Something that I've found has helped me kind of demolish this idea of discipline as punishment is to make the benefits of my disciplined choices very tangible and show them to myself. Let's say for example, that you have a bad habit that you're trying to kick of purchasing a $7 chocolate chip cookie every day. It's draining your wallet. You wanna kick this bad habit. If you just try to cut out the cookie every day, you're gonna have those feelings of deprivation, of torturing yourself, you're gonna be very resentful of the whole thing. If, however, you cut out that cookie and take the $7 that you're saving and put it into something like a vacation savings fund or even just immediately invest it when you don't spend that money, suddenly you're seeing the tangible benefits, the self-care benefits of changing that habit, of utilizing discipline. And it's gonna make it a lot more appealing because you actually feel like you're getting something out of it instead of just taking something away from yourself. I also think it's important to bring awareness to how you feel after making a responsible, disciplined, healthy choice. How do you feel after showing up for yourself? I'm sure you're gonna feel very, very good. It's an incredible feeling to feel like you are putting yourself first in a way that's responsible and genuinely going to bring you future rewards and genuine health and happiness. When you act with discipline, you're saying to yourself, I value you, I see you, I'm respecting your goals and your desires and I'm acting according to those things. Even if I don't feel like it, I am always keeping in mind that greater vision, those things that I say I want to prioritize or say that I want to be, and I'm putting in the work, the actions, the consistency to get to that version of myself. Motivation is kind of a hoax. <laughs> it's not something that I have found to be very dependable. In my experience, motivation comes after action and comes after results. When you're just starting out on pursuing a new goal or building a new habit, you're not going to be getting a lot of gratification. You're not gonna be getting a lot of results, a lot of tangible benefits necessarily. And without those things, it's really difficult to stay motivated. You can do all the tricks in the book, but at the end of the day, like if you're trying to, for example, start a YouTube channel, there are going to be mornings when you wake up and filming a video sounds like the worst thing on earth. Okay, that's a little dramatic. If you feel that negatively about it, maybe YouTube isn't for you. <laughs> but there are going to be days where it's just not really something you feel like doing, or it feels like a lot of effort and a lot of work. I think it's kind of bullshit that when you love something, it never feels like work. There are days that that YouTube feels like work. There are days that singing feels like work or photography feels like work. And these are the things that I want to do with my life. These are the things that give me passion and purpose. You cannot depend on yourself to constantly feel motivated and inspired. At the end of the day, we are kind of simple creatures. We get bored easily. We don't really love naturally putting a lot of work into things. This is also why so many of us procrastinate because we don't naturally want to do the difficult, intimidating, creative tasks. We don't wanna do the things that maybe put our ego on the line or push us past our comfort zone. We don't naturally feel like doing those things. We naturally feel like doing things like playing video games or watching TV or I don't know, doing things that are very safe and comfortable, but it's not necessarily the things that are best for us or the things that are going to help us manifest our dreams. Hard work and consistency is a component of bringing the things that you want into your life. And don't get me wrong, there are other components, you know, mindset, man manifestation, whatever. But hard work remains a necessary thing to get to the things that we want in life and consistency remains a necessary thing to get to the things we want in life. But it doesn't have to be so negative and daunting and intimidating. If you shift your view of discipline as a way to love yourself, I swear it becomes a lot more gratifying, a lot less intimidating. You're going to want to make disciplined, responsible choices more. And it really is a snowball effect of like, once you start showing up for yourself, actually following through on your goals, following through on your to-do lists and the things that you say you're gonna do, you start to build confidence in your ability to show up for yourself, to make these difficult choices or do hard things. And once you have that confidence in yourself, you really do enter this like unstoppable momentum where you're just like, yeah, I can do hard things. Yeah, I can show up for myself. I can show up to the gym early in the morning. I can make YouTube videos even when I don't feel like it or I don't have a bunch of time to do so. You really start to believe in yourself and think,
think, hey, I'm the type of person who shows up for myself. I'm the type of person that doesn't let distractions run their life, that is intentional, that can practice discipline and use it to her advantage. And you really start to fall in love with these concepts and your ability to change your life once you start showing up being consistent, doing the work. Discipline is not about impressing other people. It's not about being the person who goes the hardest or who works the latest. What it really is about is identifying the things that matter to you and using discipline as a way to get closer to those things. It's about becoming fixated on a version of yourself or a vision for your life that you really wanna manifest and having the strength to do the things that are going to help you get there. This is not about doing things that you genuinely don't want to do. And I mean don't want to do in the sense of they don't don't resonate with you, you don't feel like they will improve your life, it's not something that you have a desire for. I don't mean things that you don't wanna do in the sense that you might not feel like doing it one day. For example, I might not feel like going to the gym one day, but I know in my heart and soul and every ounce of my being that I wanna be the type of person who goes to the gym. So I would use discipline in this case. But for things like cold showers, being a runner, I have no interest in doing those things. They genuinely sound torturous to me. And so I don't see those things as something I want to use discipline for. I don't view those things as self-love. So I'm not going to do them. And you don't have to do every stereotypical disciplined thing in the book to be someone who uses and practices discipline. It's a personal thing. If working out isn't something that you care about and it doesn't resonate with you, don't work out. You get to choose what aspects of your life and what goals and what habits you want to enact discipline with. It doesn't need to be something that you apply to every good habit across the board. The things that don't resonate or that you don't value you, throw out the window, don't worry about it. Focus on the things that you do genuinely care about and put your discipline towards those things. Another great example, you will never catch me waking up at 5 a.m. unless it's for a video. <laughs> waking up early, yeah, it's one of those good habits. Yeah, it's one of those flex, grind culture, hustle culture things that people like to throw out to show how hardworking and disciplined they are. But I don't think I would get value from that. That's not how my internal clock works. I don't think it would improve my life. So I'm not gonna do it. I don't have anything to prove to anyone but myself and I would rather use my sort of limited tank of discipline and willpower towards things that I genuinely care about. Maintaining my YouTube channel, practicing singing, my fitness goals. That's kind of the note that I want to end on. Know that you have a limited tank of discipline and willpower and that there's only so much that you have of it in a day. So really use that on things that you care about and that are high value to you. Your dreams, your goals, the person you want to be, those are the things that you should be using discipline towards. It's not things that don't really matter or don't really resonate for you. Use discipline to write that book that you've always been dreaming about or to get stronger by showing up to the gym or to start a business. Like use discipline for the things that genuinely light you up and allow that to carry you through the days where you don't feel like doing anything. Show up for yourself. This has been something that I've really specifically been working on in the past couple months because I started noticing that my work ethic, my attention span, all of these things are really kind of shocking and I can blame my phone, I can blame the pandemic. I think both of them are part of the reasons why I struggle now with discipline and work ethic. But I'm just trying to get a little bit more comfortable with sitting with boredom when it comes up. Sometimes those feelings are gonna crop up. In fact, sometimes it's a necessary byproduct of pursuing the things that we want to pursue. If you wanna start a YouTube channel, it's not gonna be all sunshine and roses. There's gonna be days where you're bored at your computer. It doesn't necessarily mean that you should stop or that you should go watch TV on the couch instead. Sometimes the best thing you can do is sit on the couch and do a face mask and watch Selling Sunset while you eat chips. And sometimes the best thing you can do for yourself is pushing through a hard task, is getting that little extra bit of work done, is checking that final thing off your to-do list. And that's what I'm really trying to learn and grasp is that there's a time for both ends of the spectrum and only you can know what you might need in a specific moment. But sometimes the best thing that you can do and the most loving thing you can do for yourself is the disciplined choice, is putting your future self and your vision for yourself ahead of what you might feel like in the moment. I hope that this video resonated with some of you and I hope that it came across that my goal here is not to perpetuate the whole like work hard hustle culture vibe, but instead to give you a softer perspective on some of these concepts and maybe change how you view discipline a little bit. This is my first time filming like a legitimate sit down video in the new apartment. So I think it's a cute setup, but let me know 
know what you guys think. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. If you did like the video, please make sure to give it a like. It really helps out my channel a lot. And also make sure you subscribe for future content. I post lots of post-grad life, productivity, self-improvement content. So subscribe if you're into any of that. Comment down below if this helped you because I love hearing your guys' thoughts on topics like this and also just knowing that a video resonated. So leave your thoughts down below and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.